Good morning everybody. It is Saturday, June the 10th and it's about 9.15 or 9.20 in the morning. I'm getting ready because my boyfriend and I are going to a Cirque du Soleil show for 12 o'clock noon. And uh, yeah, he bought tickets for, for my birthday from April but we scheduled it for today. So yeah, we're heading to that. I'm wearing the outfit I wore at Chris's party, which was clown themed. So wearing my clown earrings and this dress that still fits me. So yeah, uh, I still need to put some lipstick on, but I'm drinking my coffee before we go. So yeah, that's what's going on today. I did not edit anything. Let me turn the light off. I did not edit it. I did not edit anything. Because I thought I'd give myself a break. I came back from Chicago on, oh, uh, let's see, I'm already forgetting. I came back, we came back from Chicago Monday night and then I pretty much rested and then the rest of the week until Friday, uh, until Thursday I was working in the office and then Friday I had a day off. I was planning to go to this art crawl thing that my friend and I that my friend invited me to but I was just way too tired I woke up that morning and I was just way too tired and I didn't want to push myself plus it was cold and rainy so I texted her and told her like I can't come and she was she was totally fine with it and um, the only thing I did on that Friday was cook those corn fritters for lunch for my boyfriend and I and after that I passed out I went to sleep um, I took a very long nap and I woke up and hung out with my boyfriend a little bit more. We watched the movie Blackberry with Jay Baruchel. Um, and then I went back to bed and then it is today. So I just really didn't have the energy to edit a video and like sit down and go through the footage. I, I was excited to do so, but like I didn't want to like half-ass the edit. I really wanted to enjoy the editing process. So I said, um, we'll skip the vlog this week. I didn't even post anything about it, but we'll skip the vlog this week and next week um, Hopefully maybe Sunday by tomorrow I'll be able to edit the, the Chicago video and kind of catch up. I still haven't been able to do my catch-up I think I'm just catching up on my rest still so yeah um, Heading to the Cirque du Soleil show. I've never seen a Cirque du Soleil show shower i've never seen a cirque du soleil show i've only seen it on like a tape on the dvd that i borrowed when i was in elementary school we borrowed it from the library and i watched it and i thought it was really great uh, so we got some seats the seats are like cheaper so they're not that close to the stage and i don't think i'll be able to film anything i'll bring my phone and see what i can get but yeah all right i'm gonna finish my coffee and get ready this is the show Kuza. I'm gonna wear my pom poms as well. to buy this um, fabric, what do you call it? 
fabric defuzzer for that sweater that I messed up. It's battery operated and it was only $12, so... <laughs> looks like a shower head or something like that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try this on my... Oh, I thought it was a plastic thing you came, that came off. It's just, it's part of it. All right. Need some batteries. Where do you put the batteries? Probably here. Yes, no. Oh no, this is the, the container for the fuzzies. God, that looks ridiculous. Okay. Got my batteries. Damn, weed whackers is so loud. Yay! Oh! Let's get my sweater. Please ignore the lawn guys and the weed whackers out there. Okay, let me show you the. I mean, you can already see the state of it. I'm wearing my watch because I have a doctor's appointment later today. Okay, so let's do this section. This is what it looks like before. And this is only like a few, like a minute or two. I really did a number on this guy, so it'll take a while. I am starting to smell like bur burning, maybe because it's new, but should be fine. This is how much fuzz I got. I crushed it a little bit, but that's a lot. I didn't bother doing the inside of the sweater, but success. My phone is ringing. Nobody, just telemarketers. So, um, it is Thursday, June the 15th, and I don't know where we're at with the vlog clips. I know I took a bunch, but I really don't know where I'm at. So we are back in my dark <laughs> studio. Let me just put some light in here. Um, it's a gloomy day today. I woke up, I did my laundry. I did not vlog much yesterday, I don't think. I had a doctor's appointment. I remember saying that I had a doctor's appointment, went well. Uh, so I'm back home now and I want to catch up on some art stuff, particularly my Patreon rewards. Uh, the people who signed up for my Patreon rewards, I'm sorry for the delay, uh, but they're going to get to you. So that's what I'm doing right now. I just uh, I finished editing the Chicago vlog last night and I uploaded that so it's now up. And I did film a couple of clips from before that I decided not to include into the Chicago vlog just so it's a bit more, you know, separated. So. Um, it's going to be in this vlog that you're watching right now. Um, yeah, so today I'm going to be catching up on some art stuff, like I said. I, in the previ in previous vlogs, I talked about maybe doing the doodle request drawings as um, the sticker rewards, but I really want to work on something new, as is usually with me. I always like to work something with something new. I rarely go back and use my old stuff unless I'm like desperate. Uh, but I just like the feeling of creating some new stuff. So I was thinking about some inspirations and I decided I wanted to make rewards based on ice cream because that's what I have been craving for the last like month now and I'm still craving it. I don't know what it is. I think it might be like calcium because <laughs> I'm also craving cheese, which is really strange. Um, like real cheese and I don't usually want it because uh, I'm lactose intolerant first of all so it's not something that's part of my diet a whole lot but now I'm just like craving cheese so we have like cheese downstairs in the fridge and I've I've just for the last two days I've just been cutting part like cubes out of it and eating it so anyway but I um, sketched out like an ice cream pinup very simple I think I want to paint it and that's gonna be like the postcard uh, or the print and then the sticker I want to make it into a sticker I don't know if it's possible it might be a bit too big 
So I might just do like a partner sticker. I don't know. But I'll show you the sketch right now. Maybe I can show you just by putting it up here. Uh, here we go. So it's going to be like your regular ass pinup. Not very, not very complicated. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put something like a stool that she's sitting on or like something cute. But yeah, she's just... She has like ice cream hair. It's gonna be really like pink, probably different colors. And then, so I'm gonna do an offshoot for the sticker, see how that goes. I kind of want it to match. I want it to be both watercolor. I don't want the sticker to be, what do you call it? I don't want it to be digital, but we'll see what happens. So it'll take me a few days to finish this up and then another few days to get the, um, stickers delivered once i do order them and then like maybe just one day to ship them off so if you are signed up to my patreon rewards these are coming soon sorry for the delay i've just been trying to catch up with all this travel so now that the travel is over i'm happy i'm just trying to figure out um i got a lot of stuff to do i i got a lot of stuff to do before the baby comes so i'm just like trying to keep afloat of it all on my big list, I have my suitcase that I want to empty out and like soar somewhere else so it's not in the way, but that's going to be a project for another day. Um, and then this table is just full. Those are all my receipts from when I was traveling, so I want to organize them into my tax, 2023 tax, like portfolio suitcase thing. Um, yeah, just, uh, it's very cluttered. I was making progress with some house chores, so I, today I finished my laundry, and so that's good. I attempted to, um, I think I filmed a little bit of it, but I attempted to fix the baby room, but I'm, I'm just not able to do it because uh, I was hoping to build the crib by myself but my boyfriend was like don't do it I'll just do it <laughs> just don't worry about it but because I'm trying to like get stuff done yesterday I didn't feel like drawing I didn't feel like vlogging I didn't feel like doing anything else but I had the feeling of wanting to work on that crib but yeah I can't do it so what I did yesterday uh, was just do some stuff around the house like the laundry I finally went to my garden my indoor garden downstairs I you have you guys sorry you guys haven't seen that in a while but I cleaned up the plants a lot of them were like <sighs> struggling so I got rid of a few so now it's more manageable so I have um, my biggest plants there and they're nice and it's all cleaned and I was just it was just stressing me out so I did that I also cleaned um, or organized the downstairs washroom cupboard. I moved all the stuff from there to the upstairs bathroom, like my earrings and all that kind of stuff because it was bothering me. I don't know if this is the start of me nesting. It's such a... I don't know. It make that word or um, makes me feel weird, but it does feel like that. I'm just cleaning up a lot of clutter that I can um, and trying to organize everything. I signed up and I didn't sign up, but I finalized my maternity leave with my boss in terms of like our plan. But I'm just gonna, I just have to file it because I'm the one who files all the payroll and stuff. I have to file it myself and then I have to apply separately to the government for it. But officially, I should be off on my maternity leave. I don't remember. I have to figure out the date. It's either gonna be July, it'll be July 14th or the 21st. So. Uh, that's in a couple of weeks. Um, work has been really busy when I'm there because we're I'm catching up from coming back from vacation and all this all travel, but also trying to find somebody to replace me because that is also my job. If it gets to the point where we can't find anybody when I go on my leave, my boss is kind of on his own. So, but I'm trying my best to find somebody to replace me before I leave, so he doesn't. He's not in a lurch, but. He's okay. He's, um, we got a plan settled. Just have to like file it all up, and that's kind of in my brain. And then I have a few doctor's appoint. I have some ultrasounds coming up, and doctor's appointments are gonna ramp up. And I'm also trying not to, 
be in pain <laughs> it's getting a little bit harder for me to move around so with all this, the work stuff and cleaning and like I also want to fit some some time with my friends before I'm gonna be gone for a few months and not able to do anything outside of the house so I'm meeting up with Chris tomorrow I'm really excited to see her I haven't seen her um, for a while because of all the trips and then I also have I also want to see my friend before I give birth so we have something planned we're gonna be planning something I'm seeing a friend on Saturday so yeah just a lot of stuff honestly and I have been thinking about patreon and because I am going on maternity leave I might have to pause it because I can't earn any money on leave because I'll have to declare it and I don't want to do that either I don't have, I have to declare it and then they'll just take the money away from me so it's just like what's what's the point really um any all that kind of stuff so anyway, just yeah uh what else that's the update for now I I had a lot of fun sketching this out but now that uh, I'm gonna work on the sticker counterpart of it so we shall see I'll update you as I go along but I'm getting hungry. Maybe that's why I'm a little bit distracted. I had coffee, but I haven't had breakfast yet. It's like 12.24 now. I woke up at around 9.30 and did my laundry and had coffee and did, an, did nothing else. But I'm now getting hungry. So maybe that's why I'm getting a bit distracted. I was um, a bit productive and then now I'm just like, I need to eat food. So I'm going to do that. And then I'll check back with you guys later. Oh yeah, that's, that's there's another thing I want to do. I want to do a haul of all the stuff that I got at the Montreal Comic Arts Festival in Chicago. And then I want to talk about Chicago um, like cake and how that went. So if anybody is curious about tabling at cake, there you go. So I, I kind of want to go over that and like how much I made as well because I usually do it. So anyway, that's the list. That's a long list of things that are probably going to be, there's going to be more added to this list. All right, talk to you guys later. Huh, okay. I'm back. I just finished. I finished my lunch, went upstairs and started to work on the sticker. I've been sitting for like 10 minutes or something like that and my back is starting to hurt me. So I got this back brace thing to support the back and the abdomen or the belly, I guess. So I'm going to try and see if it works and if I can last longer sitting down with it on. I had it on for a while while I was doing chores yesterday and it was quite helpful. So <sighs> so let's put this on. I think I need to buy some wrist braces as well because my wrists are hurting me when I wake up in the morning and they've been hurting lately at work too. So I should really take care of them. I'm just more prone to getting carpal tunnel or wrist pain because my joints are fucked up right now. Also because I like to sleep with my hand like this and then I wake up and my hands hurt or my wrists hurt so I'm just like this. Okay, let's get to work. Hello, it is Monday, June the 19th, 2.32 uh, in the afternoon. This is like the best I can do in terms of how I look <laughs> today. Um, yeah, I woke up pretty late like 10 in the morning kind of slowly got ready for my day had some breakfast which was like some oats with some bananas and stuff and then I started to edit the vlog for this coming this coming Friday Thursday or Friday I'm not sure when it'll be up it depends on how much I film today but uh, the last like I was I was um, I was at home uh, for the last three days so Friday Saturday and Sunday and I basically didn't get much done it's getting to the point of um, my pregnancy where I am getting tired again and I'm not feeling that great physically just lots of aches and pains and stuff so for the last three days all I've been doing was sleeping sleeping in bed watching stuff going back to sleep eating whatever and then sleeping so I haven't had any motivation to kind of work on any art stuff I had a little bit of a burst I don't even remember when when I did my sketches and stuff for patreon but because I've been so tired for the last few days and 
I am trying to wrap things up at work and all that kind of stuff. I I have decided today to kind of stop everything pretty much. So I basically what I'm saying, this vlog is going to be the last vlog I think that's going to be on schedule. Um, vlog updates are going to be sporadic from now on depending on like how I feel. It might I might be able to vlog regularly again once my mat leave starts where I have a little bit more time and breathing room but my boyfriend and I have been talking for this last couple days too and he's just like you were really overwhelmed and um yeah so it's kind of taking away from just my sanity and yeah I um I emailed a couple people today I have I actually have two events coming up in July, like mid-July, so one was an art market, well two of them were art markets, and I decided to pull out because even though I think I can do it, I'm pretty sure I will be tired during those times, like I will have to just push through to do them even though they will be great and I know they will be great, but I don't want to push myself. So I sent some emails saying I apologize, but I have to pull out of, you know, these things that I, I said I would do. So that's unfortunate, but I received some, an email back from one of them saying that's all good. So, and I gave them, it's, it's like almost a month's notice, so it's okay. And yeah, so that's my first thing to, that I did. And then the next thing I wanted to do was edit this vlog, uh, talk about Chicago, which I promised in the previous vlog and show you the stuff that I did get from Chicago and also MCAF because I never did that. And also kind of wrap up um, this vlog upload with this update, which is a pretty big update. I of, uh, And my list today is I'm also going to pause my Patreon and I will probably refund people for the previous cycle which is um let me just check yeah i will have to refund people for may of 2023 because uh I don't think I'll be able to do it in time or I can but it'll be very late so I'd rather tell I'd rather refund people instead of have them wait like months to get the rewards so if you are um, if you did sign up for my patreon in May I really apologize I'm gonna refund you what you paid so um, everything should be good but yeah that's the, th that's the thing I do and then I think on YouTube I'm gonna pause my memberships as well because I don't I'm not able to keep up right now and yeah it's I'm just trying to mitigate you know more uh, being more overwhelmed because I can't really breathe right now uh, anyway but everything's good with me I just need to kind of stop spinning so many plates at the same time and um, my partner my boyfriend and I are trying to prepare the house our dryer broke so I've been hanging my clothes and like we, we just bought a dr new dryer today, so that's going to come soon because I need to wash clothes, like baby clothes that we received and some new stuff that I received. And then I have, I've been thinking about like starting to buy stuff that we do not have. So yeah, it's just a lot. Um, and it's also really hot in here, so it's been hard to work upstairs as well. But yeah, and uh, so I got a lot on my plate, too much on your plate. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is I am going to, you know what, I'm going to do the Patreon thing first because I said it and I don't want to let it go for very, for much longer. So I'm just going to do what I set out to do today and then we will film the haul and my talk about Chicago. Alright, so everybody should be refunded and if you haven't been refunded for a cycle, please let me know and I will refund you immediately uh, but I did everything to through patreon because I didn't because I didn't withdraw any any funds from patreon um, there was enough to cover everybody because I, I just didn't take those payments so uh, or transfer them to my actual PayPal account um, but yeah okay so I think what I'm gonna start off with is I'm gonna talk about Chicago which is probably old news by now but if any of you are curious or just kind of listening to me as you work on other stuff then let me talk about it so, so Chicago was my first is my very first American convention I have never done an American or out of the country convention I've only done Canadian ones so this was um, 
my first time and I kind of went without too much expectation with all my other conventions I kind of do that especially the, the ones that are out of province where I have to travel and quite a bit and like pay for accommodation so not much expectation I I knew that um, just from being around con circles especially TCAF where there are a lot of people who are doing who are coming to Canada from the states or internationally um, payment methods are going to be different so I know that Square does not work on a US if you are Canadian you need to have a US address a US bank account something like that and I looked into Venmo but you needed a US address and a US phone number for that so those those options for me were not available and so I decided to go um, just um, through PayPal and cash uh, Tuna snaps on YouTube I asked her how she you know charged when she went to cons in the states because i just from following her account i know that she has done some u.s conventions so she said she just like created a qr code for her paypal account that people can scan with their phones and then they can pay through that so i did that before i left for chicago and i had qr codes ready on my table and it actually worked out pretty well the, the biggest downside about paypal people paypaling you is you have to pay the transaction fees for that uh, so it's quite a bit per transaction through paypal so you have to eat that cost but you can you know remit that cost in your taxes at the during tax season because you are paying for that and a portion of the money that you make that when people pay you um is through is, be, is the transaction so you can remit that through taxes um so that was fine i just had to eat that cost um, but people were pretty much at the ready to use PayPal. A lot of people had PayPal accounts. Uh, there was only a handful of people who were like, I'm going to register for PayPal right now um, to pay you if they were really committed to buying something from you. So yeah, um, that wasn't, I, I expected it to be worse, but people actually paid with PayPal a lot. So it was all, it was all good. And I didn't even bother to <laughs> have a float for Chicago. Uh, the float that I started it was eighty five. With I started with was eighty five U S dollars because my boyfriend had U S dollars already even before. Like he just had it from previous trips to the state, so he's just like just used the eighty five dollars U S dollars as a float, and that was enough uh, to get me through the the first day, and then I had enough for the next day for floats. Uh, what's sold so cake is very similar to tcaf in terms of um just the vibe so a lot of indie comics a lot of um uh, yeah just very tcaf vibe if you've been to tcaf before uh that's how it was so it's a really great show i really fit in that show that's what that's that's what i kind of look for look for when i'm applying for conventions i'm not like an anime convention person so this really fits well for me and just from conversations from other people um, who have done cake or other conventions before uh, Chicago this cake is um, one of the best indie art comic conventions in the States um, it's up there with like SBX and another one that I'm forgetting but um, yeah it's up there with TCAF as well so a lot of um, oh my gosh wait for the police guy to pass by yeah so it's a really great show and i thought it was a great show as you saw in my previous vlog as you saw in my previous vlog the venue was this humongous gym and um so it was quite echoey and there was that loud drone from the fans that happened throughout the weekend and it was very loud and very distracting and annoying i kind of got used to it and i just kind of drowned it out but if it's something that like bothers you um you probably will not be able to drown it out uh, it was very annoying and a lot of people around the i i heard from a handful of people that it was really annoying but eventually you do drown it out this is actually their first time i believe from conversations from other you know from people who had attended cake before this is their first time in this location. It used to be in a different location, so um, the organizers were a, bit, were a bit concerned for traffic. But I found the traffic was not bad. It was consistent on Saturday and Sunday. There wasn't like a big rush that I experienced 
uh, with like TCAF where it was like really overwhelming. There were so much people, everybody was buying at the same time. Uh, there was just a couple of that in at Cake and at, that was on a Saturday in the afternoon. And then Sunday was a little bit more chill. Uh, traffic was consistent, like foot traffic was consistent, but you don't get that rush uh, like what happened at TCAF where you're just, you just like can't almost can't keep up so um i don't know if it's because uh, of the change of location i don't know if it'll be better for next year if they decide to hold cake again next year maybe traffic will be there will be more traffic because more people know where it's at now if they're using the same location but that was my summation of foot traffic foot traffic it wasn't bad at all um i sold i sold more originals that I thought. Um, there was one person who bought like a lot of originals from me. I, I, my boyfriend was handling the sales of those originals, but it was insane. He bought like like five originals from me, and he paid in cash. And then, yeah. So for my first day, I don't know how accurate the the money is for for my first day because I'm converting this is usd money so this is going to be in usd but the total for my first day was about 1200 dollars american which is not bad at all and then for my second day the total was about um it looks like it was about 1300 so us so not that bad and when you're converting from this us to canadian that's really great but that but this doesn't actually um Actually, maybe it does take into account PayPal transactions because they, I added up the transactions uh, minus the, the transaction fees. So, so my, um, and then on a, in addition to the money I made, I also received an honorarium from Cake for being a featured guest, which was about 300, which was 300 USD. And so total for going to Chicago was about 2800 around that area. Again, it's kind of a little bit of an estimate because I'm not 100% sure. Unlike when I do cons in Canada, I can get a very accurate square reading from all the credit card payments, but because I'm using PayPal, um, I had to kind of manually add everything up and, and, and then there was the conversion and everything. So honestly, not bad. I made more than I expected. Um, I didn't sell a lot of buttons. It was not a button interested show. There weren't a lot of kids, which is was very different from MCAF. So not a lot of kids bought buttons and I sold a lot. I didn't really sell. I sold like a lot of everything. I didn't sell one thing that was really popular. I, I just brought enough sticker books. I just brought enough sugar uh, books so I didn't get... Um, I didn't have to carry too much. I uh, sold out of all the copies of the sugar that I brought except for my display copy. I brought five art books, uh, one five for plateful and five drawings art books and I sold, I think I have like three left for each so they weren't that popular but I still sold some of those. I sold a bunch of stickers um and sticker books too i sold a bunch of sticker books i think i had like about six remaining out of possibly 30 that i brought so yeah uh again i sold a lot of everything instead of just one popular thing so not a lot of zines i did bring some remaining zines but i didn't uh, bring any of that stuff and my prices i changed them to reflect uh the american price because sugar i was selling for about 32 in canada and then I put it to 22 in when I was at cake. So yeah, um, that was it. Uh, it was a really great show. I was very um, happy that I went, even though I was really tired. It was really nice energy there. The organizers were really helpful and very, very nice. Everybody was very nice. Uh, we had snacks and water bottles uh, free for exhibitors. And yeah, the it went it went well. And so if you are going to if you're thinking about applying to cake or doing to cake or doing that, I totally recommend it. If you are from Canada or coming into cake, there's a lot more to think about in terms of costs and stuff like that, especially if you can't take credit card payments, so you might have to think about that a bit more. But I don't regret going. 
It was a great show. Uh, there was another thing that I forgot to say. Oh yeah, when I did my talk, this is totally not the fault of the organizers, but it was kind of just a funny thing that was happening. But when I was doing my talk, my um, my, my the room where I was doing the talk uh, was right beside the washroom, and uh, the hand dryer was so loud that it kind of I had to yell at certain points or just like really talk loudly when the hand dryer was going off and like people were constantly using the washroom so that was just a funny thing i i went i got through it but it was quite distracting so but i don't think it's the the fault of the organizers because that was happening but yeah cake was really good to me i really had a good time i made more than i thought and i could have probably made more if i brought more things so yeah Alright, so I'm going to go through the stuff that I got at MCAF and Cake because I was not able to do that yet, especially MCAF. For MCAF, I didn't bring, I didn't buy much just because like it was an outdoor convention and I was, it was really hot on the day I was able to go and look around so I didn't buy too much. I did buy this Witch Tolberzine from my table partner, Natalie Nardoza. So this is just a really nicely printed witch toberzine from 2017 and yeah just different witches i really like the way it's printed and i like this you know I, yeah i like my square formats so i got it and she does really cute drawings a lot of like vampires and pretty ladies so you should check her out natalie nardoza such a great table partner as well so i got this witch toberzine from her and the rest was honestly was a, a the rest is a trade i think i just had um somebody traded me some of their zines so this one is called portal Montreal by hannah judge and peyton Surrett. i picked it they said which one do you want so i wanted this one because it's about Montreal. so i got that and i also got this one called snow by peyton Surrett because it's so cute yeah, that was it. I didn't get much because I was it was too hot and I didn't want to like walk around. But yeah, there was over I think 250 exhibitors at MCAF, so it was kind of a tough thing <laughs> to go through everybody in that heat, especially for me. So now let's do Chicago. Chicago, I actually walked around and bought more things. So the first thing I want to show you is this uh, sticker that I got from Rain Clar. This is their card right here. And um, I featured, I showed their table on my previous vlog, but yeah, rainclar.com. But I got this sticker. Look how cute and cool this is. It even, they had like a, like a, a thing that spun. And so it has this thing where you like just hang it. This it's a sticker, really nice square yellow sticker. It says make it fun. And I like that. So I love that. Make it fun. And it's like nice and vinyl. I think I also got another thing from them, but it's not here. Yeah. Here, where is it? Oh no, where'd it go? Yes, this one. <laughs> I asked them to explain what it meant and uh yeah honk if you skunk i just thought it was so funny it even has the thing too and it's a big vinyl sticker and it is just so ridiculous i had to get it honk if you skunk um what was the explanation they were like saying uh, it's ska music and it rhymes with skunk so oh honk so honk if you skunk ska music i think is what it was but i love that so i got this and then I uh, went to, oh yes, 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 where did it go? Oh, oh here it is. Uh, so I also featured their table on the blog from Korean Angry. Korean Angry. But they had such awesome sticker sets of their character. So this is a sticker set. I got two. I could not resist. Yeah, so this is by Korean... Korean angry, Korean, Korean angry. I don't know how to say it properly, but awesome stickers that we got that. I love it. Stickers mostly, honestly. Got their sticker set. I wanted to get their zine, but I had to work with a budget a bit. And then this is another big sticker set by Mo McMasters. Look at it. It's Skelly's. 
So this is a humongous sticker set vinyl too. I love putting stickers on my agendas and stuff. So that's why I got this. I got that. And then I got uh, some stickers from Jennifer Chavez. This is their card. And this is a sad sticker set, sad pack. So cute and sh sparkly. I got this. And oh, I also got the zine from Brain Clark comics where I look like this. So it's kind of like an autobio comic. I just like how simple it looks. That's what I got. And was there anything else? Uh, the rest was. Yeah, that was it. That's all I got. Not much. I just found this. But the last thing I do want to show you is when I was doing my talk at Cake, there was a kid who came up to me and gave me the zine. Do you believe in ghosts by naomi and oscar <laughs> so they said they made this go check out the crescent hotel the clown hotel and the goat men's bridge <laughs> yay you believe in ghosts so i got this it's so cute got that and the only other thing i did receive oh no i do also got uh, yes i got this from hadley it was a trade or she gave it to me it's a, um, a, a square comic zine that i love it's i love the square thing called witches witches brew so that's that i got that from her and another scene called i'm not here by Hadley Richardson O'Brien. I love it. I just love zim simple zines like this. I feel like I should just do more zines that are just folded so simply. But yeah, I got that. And the other thing also I wanted to mention was I did get a copy of the brochure for cake, which was this. And also their little postcard because I love the art on the back. Especially which one? The guy. This guy right here this butt <laughs> so the guy who do did all their like poster drawings and stuff was tabling there as well and i think i i filmed his table in the previous vlog but i kept one of these because it shows uh that i, I chose that i'm here so i wanted to keep that for memory's sake also a, a guide it's a really lovely uh, brochure has all the important info the exhibitors the panels uh, the sponsors at the back and then this is really cool. I've never seen it before just just ignore the Just ignore the weird things they wrote here, but um, they were doing a thing where if you list down the stuff that you bought from exhibitors and how much is the total uh, depending on how much you spent on the artists you can get a cake poster or buttons if you spent between 26 to 65 dollars or more you can get like a print a signed print so I thought that was really cool and it really like encourages um, the event goers to buy stuff from artists so I thought that was a really cool idea but yeah that's the stuff that I brought back with me from cake and from MCAF and I hope you found that interesting <laughs>